<laughs> that one's on YouTube. Okay. okay. This is a renal lobe, we would call it. We've got our renal capsule here. This is the cortex. This is a pyramid, a renal pyramid, one unit of your medulla. Uh, we can see an interlobar artery and vein coming up here and arcing around the base of the pyramid is an arcuate artery and vein. Coming out of that we have our interlobular arteries and veins going into the, interlo the arcuate vein. Um, coming out of the interlobular uh, artery we have afferent arterioles going into the glomerulus and an efferent arteriole coming out and forming paratubular capillaries. Okay. Uh, each of these is a renal corpuscle consisting of a Bowman's capsule and a glomerulus. Uh, filtration of the blood happens in the renal corpuscles. Filtrate goes down the proximal convoluted tubule, down the descending limb of the loop of Henle, up the ascending limb of the loop of Henle until it touches the afferent arteriole. Okay. Then you have your distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct, and papillary duct here in the renal papilla at the end of the pyramid. Uh, this is a cortical nephron. Uh, 80 to 85 percent of nephrons are cortical nephrons because their renal corpuscle is high up in the cortex and the loop of Henle doesn't penetrate very deep into the medulla. This is a juxtamedullary nephron because its renal corpuscle is close to the medulla and its uh, loop of Henle penetrates deep into the medulla. These are 10 to 15 percent of nephrons, and these, unlike the cortical nephrons, these can participate in making dilute or concentrated urine, and cortical nephrons cannot. Okay. Uh, this loop-shaped capillary network here is the vasa recta. That's your renal lobe.